Hi, I'm Diane. Um, I'm just a normal person. However, the story I'm going to share with you is anything but normal. As a matter of fact, it's so bizarre that if it happened, hadn't happened to me, and it's still happening, I probably wouldn't believe it myself. Um, my story dates back to 2004, the origins of the story, which is when a friend of mine, Anthony Canada, bought a supposedly haunted doll off of eBay. Um, I didn't know too much about the doll then, and I still don't, because after you hear my story, you'll probably understand why, but I want nothing to do with the doll. I don't read anything about the doll. I don't even say its name. Um, at the time, I thought he was nuts. I was very skeptical, and I thought, oh, yeah, haunted doll, right? Um, he bought the doll to where I was working at that time so that I could try to do a tarot reading on it. I'd been reading the cards for many years and was pretty good at it. So he brought the doll to my job and we set up in a conference room. He set the doll up on a table with a tape recorder and I tried to read the cards on the doll. I had no luck at all. All I got was basically gobbledygook, just a bunch of nothing. So finally, after attempting it for a few minutes, I told Anthony I couldn't read on the thing at all. Um, he had noticed that I was rubbing my right hand with my left hand, and he said, what's wrong with your hand? And I actually hadn't even realized they had been doing it. Um, I looked down at my hand and there were two little marks on my hand that looked like teeth marks, like baby teeth. Um, he said, let me see something. And he got, I think it was a coffee stir stick and measured the marks on my hand and then held them up to the teeth on the doll and they matched perfectly. Okay, so around this time I'm starting to think like maybe there is something to this haunted doll story. Um, but I really didn't want to find out anymore. The doll gave me the creeps, quite frankly. It was hideously ugly. Um, it looked like it had been burnt and thrown away and all kinds of stuff had happened to it. It was just plain ugly. It was ugly when it was manufactured, I'm sure, and it hadn't changed. Um, so... We went upstairs, and one of my co-workers said, What happened to your face? And I wasn't aware that anything had happened, but she pointed out a spot near my eye on my cheekbone. I went in the bathroom and looked, and there was a red mark there. And she happened to say that it looked like somebody had punched me in the eye. Um, that was pretty much the end of that chapter. Fast forward um, 14, 12 years to 2016, and I had read on Anthony's Facebook page that he was doing radio interview regarding this quote-unquote haunted object, and like I said, I want nothing to do with it. I don't use its name. I don't read about it. I've not watched any of his interviews or listened to any of his radio interviews about this thing. I just plain don't like it and um for some reason I decided to listen to it that day well if he was talking about it one of the things he brought up that um has happened to people that have had encounters with the doll is back problems and I just got a cold chill of recognition down my spine when he said that um shortly after I had originally met with him and been introduced, if you will, to the doll, I started having difficulties with my upper back. Um, this year, 2016, I was diagnosed with degenerative disc disease, and the type of um, DDD that I have is where my discs are joined to my spine, it's very rare, and only 1% of DDD patients has this kind of disc disease. Additionally, I was diagnosed with bone spurs and arthritis in my spine. So, I called Anthony, 
I stopped listening to the, to the interview, needless to say. And I gave Anthony a call and just ran it by him. Didn't think that this possibly could have happened um, because of my encounter with the doll. And we discussed it and decided that since I originally started having the trouble shortly after I encountered the doll, that it possibly could. Um, I am still under a doctor's care, I'm under pain specialist. I'm taking very heavy medications, and no, I'm not on them at this time, <laughs> if you're wondering. Um, my back is deteriorating to the point where I very well might end up in a wheelchair. And I had none of these issues before that. I never had a back problem before that at all. So, I don't know. I'll let you decide for yourself whether it was the encounter with the doll or just the natural course of old age. But this is my story and I'm sticking to it. Thank you.